Hi, in the last video lesson, we kind of look for some MongoDB errors in the error that the JS file middleware. So, in this lesson, we're gonna start building our front end with React, and from now, we're gonna go back and forth. Okay, so as you know, we're gonna continue building our back end API and at the same time building our front end without wasting time let's begin okay first of all let's install uh, i mean react i'm gonna find the mvx okay um create like so uh react app dash app okay and the name will be front end okay like so and press enter so it might take, I mean, a couple of seconds or minutes, okay? And uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pause the, this video and after it's done, so I'm gonna come back just to save some time, okay? Okay, now it's begin the installation and after everything is done, like I just said, um, I'm gonna come back. Okay, as you can see, we finished installing, I mean, React, and uh, before CD in the folder, what I'm gonna show you, uh, I'm gonna go in the package.json, okay? In the package.json, we have a script name, I mean, start, and whenever we type uh, npm uh, start, and React will be load, okay? Okay, so now uh, let's CD in the front end folder, Okay, front end folder. Okay, showed you the script, the name of the script, the npm start. And uh, okay, as you can see, we are gonna load. Okay, uh, sometimes it may take, I mean, a couple of seconds, but I'm uh, gonna wait until it, it's done. Okay, the process is finished, and now let me show you React. So we have, I mean, React on the port, I mean, 3000. Okay, but uh, I'm gonna make a couple of, I mean, uh, changes. Okay, I'm gonna remove this logo, remove all of these. Okay, I'm gonna leave it blank. Okay, so, and from now, um, let's go back to our code editor. Okay, now um, let's expand. We are in front end. Okay, so let's expand. I mean, source. Okay, so um, if you are just a beginner, so all the files that we're going to need to work with are located here in source. Okay, if you need to create file, we're going to create it, create them here, folder, create them here. Okay, and now what I've showed you in the appearance of in application the logo everything i mean is coming here what i'm gonna do i'm gonna get rid of the logo because i'm not gonna use the logo also i'm gonna delete i mean this logo okay i'm gonna delete this logo okay and okay so um what next um i'm gonna do i'm gonna okay for now just copy this just get it because i'm gonna remove all of these okay and uh, okay i'm gonna make i mean a functional component okay r i mean no case r a f c e okay and i have a functional component let me import the css okay and um h1 okay let's type react is warning like so and save and okay so um everything seems to work so let's get back okay okay as you can see everything is working okay but what i'm gonna do i'm gonna I mean, get back okay i'm gonna get back get to um for the return but i'm gonna i'm gonna create i mean a folder named component okay 
here I'm gonna uh, I will have all the component here okay and I need uh, another folder I will uh, name it pages okay and uh, let's start I mean let's start create some pages I'm gonna have home home.js okay after that I will have I mean um, sign up okay sign up that js okay i will have also another file name sign in okay that js like so okay but um, let me go back to the code editor okay in react uh, as you may know uh, uh, if i want to go for example i mean uh, if i have a page i have a page name for example i mean uh, uh, sign up okay if i want to go to sign up i can go because i need to have i mean uh, a wilder i mean i need to create the wild i mean to create the wild i need uh, we're gonna need to install i mean uh, a package name react water dom okay so let's go back to our code editor and i'm gonna install this package now okay i'm gonna split i mean my um i mean the terminal and i'm gonna um, cd inside of inside the front end okay and i'm gonna install npm i okay react water dash dom but i need the version i mean five three i mean zero if you may ask what i i got some trouble with the last version and from now i choose to go with this version until i mean everything is okay okay from now let's uh, press enter and uh, it might take a couple of seconds and after that we'll be back okay from now we have our npm package i mean we are quarter dom install okay and if you want to check it so you're gonna go in package.json where it is okay here okay okay and you see react water dom okay but uh, now here okay instead of sending react is running so let's call i mean our, com our component i mean our pages okay so um i mean uh, import okay home import home form okay and uh, uh let's see uh, we are in app okay i mean pages okay app pages and home okay pages and i mean home and i'm gonna copy this now let's duplicate okay three time and i have sign up okay from sign up and uh, here sign in from sign in and let's save okay so we don't have any errors so what i'm gonna do uh let's make a check to see if everything is okay okay i need uh, this okay home okay like so and uh let's uh this is the home page i'm gonna create i mean uh, r a f c e okay like so and uh let's have an h1 i mean home page 
page okay like so and sign up for our AFCE okay here we're gonna have um, I mean a form to sign to sign up okay uh, I mean let's name it which one I mean sign up sign up form okay but we're gonna come back later and here just to save time okay and uh, here let's type I mean sign in right okay and here we have sign in okay so let's save so and now let's go back to our main app and what i'm gonna do uh, let me go back to i mean to the app okay so as you can see we have um, we have the home page okay we have the home page but uh, we could do this better okay we're gonna use i mean um, we acquire them to when the pages okay import okay form oops form react react oops should be here react dash water dump okay like so and what we want to import let's import i mean browser browser water and uh, i mean um route okay from i mean react water dump okay so here instead of rendering i mean like so i'm gonna remove this okay i'm gonna we're gonna i mean put here i mean oops okay and here Okay, like so and inside of it we're gonna have route okay so route okay route like so but uh, we're gonna type I mean exact I mean to have the exact path okay exact path uh, my I mean the path will be this will be this one will be the home page okay and what component we're gonna render we're gonna tell what component we want to render we wanna wonder for this this is the home page here the home page okay and I'm gonna duplicate this line okay two times and uh, here I'm gonna render I mean let's say sign up okay and the word will be sign I mean sign up okay and here this will be sign in and the component will be here sign in okay we save everything should be okay and now let's I mean go back okay let's go back and uh, As you can see, the, the the slash okay, the only forward slash. This is the home page, and if we go, for example, to I mean sign up, okay, we have the sign up form, but we don't have it yet. We're gonna create it, and if we type, I mean sign in, so we have the sign in form, guys. So I don't wanna make this video too long okay but in the next tutorial we're gonna start building i mean uh, the form okay we're gonna call uh, our backend api okay which we react to i mean sign up okay so if you like this video please leave a thumbs up 
okay if you have any question please uh, use the comment section and uh, yeah so um please share this video okay and comment or like i mean uh, so that youtube i mean can uh, throw it to more people and uh, we can go together so uh, from now thanks for watching and see you in the next video lesson bye bye